Okay, uh, hi everybody. In this video, I'm going to do a quick demonstration of two different ways to access, uh, or rather transfer files to Centaurus. So there's really only one common method of sending files back and forth between computers uh, in a remote environment. Um, it's usually using SFTP. Uh, in one form or another. SFTP is uh, what, Secure File Transfer Protocol. Uh, so there are a lot of tools that enable this. So the first way, uh, if you're really just a GUI kind of person, you want to use a, a visual interface and interact with your files visually. Here on the left, we have FileZilla. I think this works on, I think there's a version of FileZilla for Windows, Mac OS, and for Linux, I think. Definitely Windows and Mac OS. Uh, whenever you want to use FileZilla, you can first off, you have to download FileZilla. You can find it very easily on the internet, uh, and I will post a link alongside this video. Uh, the first thing we want to do when we get to FileZilla, this is, I just opened this. The first thing we want to do is come up here to File and click Site Manager. Uh, and what you want to do when you get here is click New Site. Um, I'm not going to click it because I've already set mine up. But when you click New Site, it will show you a page that looks like this uh, here on the right. And uh, what you want to do is make sure you have the same settings that I do. So you want to be switched to SFTP. Uh, you want to enter hpc-student.uncc.edu. You can leave the port blank. It will do the right thing. You want to do interactive login because of our two-factor authentication. Uh, and you want to click, uh, or you want to enter your email address, your UNCC user as your user. Uh, and once you do this, you can save it. Uh, I think it saves automatically once you've done this. Uh, you can click connect and it will give you a prompt basically asking for your password. You can enter your password then it will give you a new prompt asking you for the typical two-factor authentication that you usually get when you SSH. So you can press one if you want a duo push uh, and this will let you verify your identity. So now that I've authenticated, you can see my files here on the right. The files on the left here are my personal files on my home computer. So if I want to move example.txt over here, I can just drag it and drop it somewhere in here. Now it will ask you to authenticate again. Unfortunately, you have to do this. Uh, I think you can configure it to sustain the connection, but I haven't bothered to do that. I don't use FileZilla very much, but you may find a way to do it. Um, so, and that will move the file and you can see over here that it copied this empty file onto file, onto Centaurus. Uh, you can copy any kind of file. You can copy a zip file. You can copy whatever you want. Uh, you just have to go through this process. Uh, so that's one way to do this. Uh, if you have access to a terminal, in this case, this is Windows PowerShell. Uh, what I'm going to show you works exactly the same if you're using a Linux or a Mac OS terminal. The commands are not any different for this specific operation. If I want to copy a file, I will do SCP, which is secure copy, which is very similar to SFTP, but I think this tool is a little bit more intuitive. It works a lot like CP does, but it's SCP. Uh, you do SCP, your username at hpc-student.uncc.edu, colon, tilde, tilde means your home directory. Uh, it's just a shorthand for your, direct, your home directory. And then if you wanted to give it a subdirectory, if you wanted this to go on module one, you could do this. If you wanted to change the name of the file, you could change the name to example.txt. Or um, you don't necessarily have to do any of this. If we just do tilde slash, or even just tilde, it will just copy this file as is into my home directory. And so if I do this, um, 
Let's see. Uh, sorry, first off, you have to give it the file name. Uh, and then you enter this information. So you have to tell it which file we're copying, uh, who we are, uh, where we're connecting to, and what we want to copy it to. So when we do it this time, we will get the typical connected. And you'll enter your 2FA, and you'll approve your 2FA. And it's copied the file. Uh, and so if we wanted to copy the file back using this method, uh, we would just reverse these parameters. So we could call it myfile.txt is what we want to take off of Centaurus. And here we will rename it to example.txt. And we'll have to log in again. Uh, you can do one. Again, you can bulk transfer files. You just have to give it more than one name. You can also give it a directory. You can ask it to copy recursively as many options. You may just have to read the manual page and how to use it. Uh, and you'll see it transferred the file back once I did my 2FA and now we have an example.txt, the same empty text file we had here. Um, yeah, and that's about it. So these are two ways you can do this. Um, feel free to use whichever one you want. This might be very useful for you when you do your projects on Centaurus and you want to move files to and from um, back and forth. Okay, that's it for this video.